My name is Kathy, and I am very lucky because I have a friend who, even before she became a published author, was extremely helpful when it came to the health and well-being of my dogs. Now she's a published author. She's still my friend. The good news is she's probably as good a friend to my animals as she is to me, and I want to tell you why. Angela is not a vet, never claimed to be a vet, but like most of us who have children, we only want to take our kids to the doctor when they need it. With Angela's help and her common sense grounded approach to raising dogs, you end up taking your dogs to the vet for preventive care rather than because they're sick. How did Angela get so smart? Unfortunately, it's trial and error. She started out deciding, like anybody who's ever gone in the business of raising dogs, that she would raise dogs. It is a heartbreaking and a very expensive endeavor, but she was hooked on it before she learned all the bad things about it. Along the way, she found out some things that the rest of us have benefited from because she's been able to tell us about it. I have two dogs right now. One of them is a Chihuahua mix, got a coat as tough as a rhino and absolutely no problems at all. The other one is a Boston Terrier, the most adorable dog in the world and is sensitive to anything as can be. The good news is both of their coats are in great shape because I know what to feed them. What do I feed them? I feed them food that is quality nutrition. I feed them gluten-free. As a result, my food might cost a little more. My vet bills don't. Not only does my food possibly cost a little more, because it's high quality, it lasts longer. My dogs don't need to eat as much to get the calories and the, the nutrition they need because it's all there. No, I don't buy my dog food from Walmart or Kmart or any of the big box stores because quite honestly, they don't have the quality of dog food that my dogs deserve. One thing I learned from Angela early on is when it comes to dog food, it's kind of like coming to your three-year-old. Common sense, you got to have common sense. Look on the list of ingredients. If it's not something you want to feed your kid, it's not something you want to feed your dog. Another valuable experience I've had is treats. I love to treat my dogs. They don't have to do a trick to get a treat. They just have to love me, which they do. Because I know to use quality treats, I don't have to worry about it. Now, I don't give them great big hunks of treats but I can treat them as often as it makes me feel good because the food, that the treat that I'm giving them is a quality treat without fillers and colors and all this other stuff. But let me get back to Angela. Angela's been a huge help to us. And the reason I can trust her is because her opinions aren't based on ego and what worked for her particular dog. Her opinions are grounded in fact, and the appreciation that dogs like people, all dogs are different. I can take Tylenol, my husband can't. One dog may respond to one thing and another to a different thing. My daughter's dog became ill during non-vet hours. Angela's common sense approach after hearing what the symptoms were led my daughter to take some action and what do you know? She didn't need a vet to see her dog because by the time Monday rolled around, Cooper was fine. Again, common sense. But what's common sense for people isn't common sense for dogs. That's why Angela is so helpful. She keeps up with new information that's coming out without being trendy. I don't want to raise my dogs or my kids for that matter on what is a trend. I want common sense advice that's grounded. That's what I've always gotten from Angela. 
She is very comfortable in dealing with teeny tiny little puppy issues to the heartbreaking decisions we have to make when it's time for our dogs to leave us. That kind of experience, that kind of caring for both my dog and myself has been a huge comfort to me. Right now, I've got uh, almost an eight-year-old and I've got a three-year-old. I anticipate I'm going to have a long time with both of them, but I also know that things can happen. Food is, in, is critical. Keeping them healthy and well bathed without over bathing is also critical. Something I had to learn from Angela when I thought that I could wash allergies away and you can't. You have to deal with the skin that the good Lord gave your dog. Angela's common sense approach helped me a lot with a dog that had problem skin. When it comes to the everyday raising and living and loving your dogs, Angela and her book are absolutely invaluable. And it's not a novel. It's not something you're going to sit down and read and reread like Gone with the Wind. But once you thug through it and you see what's there, when a problem comes up, you know you can turn to the book and you can find an answer. You also know that Angela's not going to try to tell you she knows every answer. She'll be the first one to send you to the vet if a vet is where you need to go. She's like every other good dog parent, only more experienced, years of experience, and she doesn't mind sharing this knowledge. She wants you and your dog to have a happy and healthy relationship. It shows in how she talks to you, how she wrote my love letter to me, and how she treats her own dogs. She loves everybody's dogs. I'd like to think she loves mine best, but I doubt that's true. I don't know what else to say other than if you've got a dog, you care enough to have a dog, you care enough to want your dog to enjoy living with you, then it's critically important that you take just a little bit of time to find out some common sense things that'll help make your dog's life more enjoyable. I choose little dogs at this point in my life because I like my dog sitting on my lap. Whether you've got a 17 pound dog, an eight pound dog, or a 170 pound dog like my son has, your dog can be the best it can be with a little bit of common sense and a whole lot of concern to make sure it stays that way. I'm glad Angela's my friend. I'm even gladder that she's my dog's friend. That's it.